Hello. This has resurfaced after quite a few years. A little bit doggy now because it's been through the wars, it's been well hammered. This is first edition from I think 1979. Graham Masterton, horror writer, The Devils of Dee Dee. It's been around for quite a lot of years now. It's available various covers, it's been reprinted to death. This is the first edition by Sphere from 1979. Basically what it is, if you like D-Day, Tanks and a Horror Story, see if you can find a copy of that, it should have been made into a movie, but it never was. And I don't know why, because the storyline is just absolutely fantastic. It'll keep you entertained for quite a few hours. What it consists of, it's this guy, 35 years after D-Day, goes to France to make a map. He goes down all these little country lanes and he comes across this Sherman tank lying by the side of the road in the hedge. And it's obviously that bit's inspired by the uh, the after the battle photograph that I showed you in the, was it the Battle of the Bulls then and now book where that Sherman tank was by the roadside in the 1970s, all those years later. Anyway, he comes across his tank. He sort of has a word with the locals and he finds out that this tank's painted black, not olive green. He also finds out that all the hatches have been welded shut and there's a crucifix crudely welded across the top. He does some research and he finds out that from the locals that the US Army on D-Day sent ashore 13 black painted Sherman tanks. And at the end of the war, they were all recovered apart from this one that had a broken track. So the Americans left it where it was, they welded it all up, they said some prayers over it and left it. And that's where the mystery starts. And what it turns out is the uh, the Allies put the bones of 13 devils in each of these tanks in a sack. And each of the devils had a specific power. And then in these tanks, they let them loose on the Germans. And that's what it's about. It's just a brilliant, brilliant story. So see if you can find it. The Devils of D-Day by Graham Masterton. It's been around for years and years and years. But unfortunately... It's never ever been made into a film, which is a shame because the storyline does warrant it being turned into a movie. So it is a really good thing. The uh, the blurb on the back reads, at the Bridge of Levy in July 1944, 13 black tanks smashed through the German lines in an unstoppable, all-destroying fury ride, leaving hundreds of Hitler's soldiers horribly dead. 35 years later, Dan McCrook visited that area of Normandy on an investigation of the battle site. There he found a rusting tank by the roadside that was perfectly sealed upon its turret a protective crucifix. Sceptical, he dared open it, releasing upon himself and the innocents who had helped him an unimaginable horror that led back to that black day in 1944 and reopened the ages-old physical battle between the world and evil incarnate. And Masterton himself, to add to the mystery of it, puts in a sort of preface and it says, the author's note, this is... London 1979, author's note. All of the devils and demons that appear in this book are legendary creatures of hell, and there is substantial recorded evidence of their existence. For that reason, it is probably inadvisable to attempt to conjure up any of them by repeating out loud the incantations used in the text, which are also genuine. I would like to point out that the Pentagon and the British Minister of Defence strenuously deny the evidence described here, but I leave you to draw your own conclusions. So I'll see if you can find it. The Devils of D-Day, not necessarily with this cover, because this is the first edition from 1979. Really good book, get out and find it. Bye for now.